Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright, a consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscape. We're hoping to launch the Waxscape in the next couple of months. If you are interested, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk to register your interest and we can add you to our mailing list. So we have a patient here who attended with a blocked left ear and they've been trying to use various uh, earwax softening drops and sprays over the counter in the hope of removing this wax removed uh, by themselves through the use of the drops. They also did admit to getting water in the ear which then exacerbated their symptoms. So their primary complaint was um, just the pressure sensation in the ear. They did obviously of course feel that the hearing was affected as well but their main complaint was the dis just the discomfort and uh, the patient did advise that they do wear um, sleep plugs at night and no doubt these sleep plugs have been um, further just compressing this wax it's really compressed it's quite wet uh, uh, and um, sticky and stodgy there's a few hairs there as well so it's slightly matted and you can just see here I'm just trying to tease this out um, but it is really compressed right up against the eardrum and you'll see once I remove all the occluding wax, there is some residual staining on the drum, which we just left there. I wasn't too concerned by that. The symptoms had been alleviated. Um, the patient does suffer from a bit of tinnitus, so we don't want to over um, welcome our stay in the ear. So um, wherever you've got patients with tinnitus, um, sometimes the noise can exacerbate the tinnitus. So you just want to get the wax out and, um, as I said, not over overstay your welcome in the ear. You can see that the suction probe just got blocked there. I think I'm going to put some olive oil um, spray in there just to help soften this further. So I'm using our 4.25 millimeter specular, and the specular on the waxscape is just being used to dilate the ear canal and to widen it and stretch it. And you can see with our specular, we've got uh, an opening at the roof. And with the specular, you can attach it um, yourself. Um, uh, different angles and rotations with on the wax scope so uh, for me being a right-handed I'm holding the instrument in my right hand and uh, the key is to go over the top and down through that slit and that's that way you can see you've got a really clear view of the instrument the instrument is not obliterating the view because it's not coming directly in front of the, the camera lens you see so having that slit um, it also helps with uh, additional maneuverability and it also allows us to use all ENT micro instruments. Um, so yeah, you can rotate that slit to your preferential angle. So I'm more or less positioning it at one o'clock. Um, if you're left-handed, you'll probably have to um, have that around 11 o'clock. Some people may prefer having it more, um, uh, more at three o'clock even, so more sideways. Um, but you can detach it and reattach and you can actually swivel it as well. So, see, slowly but surely, we, we are getting this wax out of the ear. I, I didn't get time, unfortunately, to take a photo at the end of the procedure. There's a hell of a lot of wax. The patient themselves were very surprised. And I explained, because the wax is quite soft, and because they've been using the sleep plugs, it just compressed it. Um, so the average ear canal is approximately, again, approximately, it's just you round it off, around three centimetres from the entrance to the eardrum. And when you saw this wax, it was far more than three centimetres worth, but it had all been compressed. Um, so they have been suffering for a while. So just put some more drops in there. It just it did block the inside of the suction probe. So uh, yeah, we are using the 4.25 millimetre specular here. And there's going to be a smaller size as well that we use, we use a 3.5. And then a couple of larger ones, a 5mm and a 5.75. So... You see, we're working our way towards the patient's eardrum. Just getting the wax in focus. Just going with the sucker. You can see how I'm using the sucker to move the hairs away as well. So with an open slit, and even without uh, an open slit, some, some patients' ears are very um, hairy and it can sometimes obscure the view, but um, you just use the sucker as well just to move them out of the way. So that was a huge plug there. So you can see, there's the patient's eardrum. There is some residual wax on the drum, but you know, we can see the we can see the whole eardrum. In fact, um, they've got quite a bendy ear canal, so it veers off to the left. But that's the handle of malleus, 
And I've just left it at that. We don't want to overdo it, as I said. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And as mentioned, if you are interested in the wax coat, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you.